So I was invited by York University to give a speech, to give a talk. That was cancelled due to threats of violence by far-left organisations and communists. Um, because of that, I was invited by a, a businessman in York City Centre who asked me to come and give the talk because he was fed up of the attack on free speech at York University. And we thought we'd pop into the university. Now, the first three people to come up to me as I've walked in there, all been students, all shook my head, hand, all pleasant, all want to hear our point of view. Now, surely these students are mature enough to make their own mind up. Surely they're able to hear our point of view and decide if it's right or wrong themselves, not have free speech shut down and, and the debate closed down. There's a difference between racism and free speech. Yeah, Con. What's, can, what's the difference between racism and free speech? Was that a facetious question? No, seriously. Okay. Well, okay, easier question. What have I ever said or what do I talk about that's got to do with racism? Right, well, weren't you the leader of EDL at some point? What's that got? What, hold on, what, what, what do I talk about or that I say that's got to do with racism? And then Pegida, who are ex explicitly anti-Muslim, as in that is the point of that party. So I'll ask you again. What have I ever said or done that's got to do with racism? I've never really read anything by you because I don't go out of my way. But, but, you, but, but you've decided yourself that I'm a racist. So no, more to the point. So, so far we've established you don't know anything I've ever said or done that's racist. Okay. Uh, I've, I think I'm pretty sure that leading, being leader of the EDL and then Pegida, which you haven't quite answered to yet. Oh, so leading the EDL makes me racist. That's your argument. That's your argument? So, so, so that's not me saying someone... Okay, I've sounded pretty stupid so far, so I'm going to step out of this particular camera argument. Because you've got no argument, yeah? I think I'd like to talk to you in person rather than in front of a camera. Unfortunately, what, you, no, what you've done is you've stereotyped. You, you've, you've, you, you. You're right. I was racist towards you because I thought you were racist. That's exactly what happened here. Thank yeah. you. How strange is that? How strange was that? <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. He was willing to have a conversation with you, just didn't want in front of the camera. He just wanted an <laughs> intelligent <laughs> debate with you. No, he didn't. Uh, hold on. Intel he wanted an intelligent... I'm not, I'm not here to have a film, I'm here to have a discussion with you. Do you think that's right or wrong that I was banned? I, people can invite you if you want. Do you think it's right or wrong that I was banned? It would, it would have been better if people faced you, argued with you and debated your, your, your position and, and proved your, your position to be wrong. That's my personal opinion. You're correct, you're completely correct. That's, that's okay, called free speech. Fine. But, you're, but, but that's, that's diff just because I vehemently disagree with your opinion. You and can. Yeah. I think you, you talk a lot of rubbish. Yeah, that's great, yeah. Yeah, fine. But, but, but we should be free. He was doing that to it. He was talking to you. No, you're missing the point, mate. I want to talk to you on camera for this political stunt, which you're going to post to your YouTube account. How's it a political I'm stunt? He's hey. filming me. I'm just what, So, because I'm filming you, it's a political stunt? I'm yes. Talking. What's a political stunt? We're having a talk. You, you, you have a fucking microphone. What? So what? Moment time. Like, I'm not thinking about Tom. Oh, you, what, you've what, what, what you've just done is a ridiculous statement. You just said that I do ridiculous statements, and then you can't even name one. You can't name one thing I've ever said you that's wrong. You said, you said stuff about the uh, levels of violence Muslims have committed over past centuries, which are... Why is that a ridiculous statement, if it's fact? And like, okay, what was your opinion on that? Because to quote you, no, I, ha I remember you did say something about that specifically. I said something about that specifically, which was what? What did I say that's a ridiculous statement? I just remember it being ridiculous at the time. I don't. I don't. Th I don't think about the EDL all the time. I have, I have to think. What? Life. So he's called me a racist. Can't back it up. You've said I make ridiculous statements. When I've asked you what, you don't have any idea what. I just. I just. What, I what, what, okay. What have I said that's fact? Have, what have I said that's caused a problem for you in my whole life? What have I said? What have you said? Yeah. I, don't, I don't think about politics twenty four seven. I don't dislike you as a person. I just dislike your beliefs. It's different. It's not personal. I don't know what, what. What do you think my beliefs are? Well, you're 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 na you're a nationalist. Which means, but but your, but your nationalist vision isn't isn't. So What's my nationalist vision? So that is is exclusionary. You you want you want certain types of people out, out of the UK. I've never said that in my life ever. I've never said okay, that. Okay, okay, fine. So you, so you be don't be there. there, there I've, I've ne what you've just said. You think I stand for? I've never said. I've never said I want anyone deported from the UK unless they're terrorists. Which is a good idea, right? I've come here today just to give a quick video. The first three students come up to me, all shook my hand. They'd all listened to my videos and they were all quite respectful. I've then been called a racist by another student. When I've asked him what I've ever said or done that's racist, he had no answer. I've then been told that I've, another student doesn't like me. When I've asked why you don't like me, he said I've made ridiculous statements. When I asked him for an example of a ridiculous statement that I've made, he had no idea. This is the problem we have. People who have listened to our speeches and listened to what we've got to say agree and are sympathetic. People who don't, have just been, they've just been told I'm a racist or a bigot or an extremist. They have no opinion on it. 
when I'm asked for facts, what have I said? What have I done? What have I said that's wrong? They've got no answer, no answer at all. And I gave a speech today. It was the first speech I've been able to give. I've been trying to give it for years. It was on the British police state. And if you want to watch that speech, you'll see it soon see it being uploaded for the full version on Rebel Media. If you like that and you want to see more, click like and subscribe.